at the same time, like, uh, if I get a 3DS, I want to be able to play, like, Picross and, like, all those digital level 5 games, and like, like, I want to be able to take to take advantage of sales, because because I do. I, I just bought Virtual Fighter 5 again for, like, the second time off PSN because it was $6. Like, I, I, I am a sales guy. I will, I'll get stuff that's on sale. I want to be able to buy digital stuff and not be like, well, if something happens to my 3DS, and it probably won't because I've always taken care of my stuff, and I still do. But just mm-hmm. having that in the back of my head, well, if something happens to my 3DS and I have to get a new one, and then, you know, on top of that, I have to go through this whole hassle of getting my old stuff off of my old one. Also, I need to, like the friend code stuff, Nintendo. That is some if, shit. Like, if, any, I... if anyone from Nintendo was watching the stream, I want you to understand this because it's very important. You are not entitled to me memorizing a number for you that is longer than my social security number. I can barely remember yeah. that one. I, I can barely remember my phone number and, like, the number to call my mom, okay? I got enough <laughs> numbers to keep track of that I'm having a hard enough time to keep track of. And you want me to keep track of a friend code that's even more digits than any of those numbers? That's ridiculous and never happening. Yeah. yeah. That's like, whenever people ask me for my friend code, like, I have no friends on my 3DS because they were, I have a picture of it in my phone. But yeah. mm-hmm. I just... It's like, well, isn't, isn't the uh, Wii U still use friend codes? They have that, um, they have a Nintendo ID. Okay, you know? but it's so, probably yeah. still shit, right? Yeah. I mean, I don't <laughs> pay attention is, to anything is it at le- going is it, on. Is it, is it at least words? Is it like, I have a yeah. name? Okay. Yeah, All mine right. is Majora. <laughs> so. so we're about to see the sharks, which this is one part in the, in the original game, you like went into like, to like thigh deep water and there were some tiny mm-hmm. sharks swimming around. Now it's like, Real? Like Jaws, motherfuckers. Um, I love sharks. Yeah, I That's did. Really random, but I really love sharks. Oh god. Yeah. This part is. Yeah. This part you Getting... can die so quickly too, because they can. You can't really fight them. They can just swim up and eat you. Mm-hmm. <gasps> what the hell? Something fell in my room and it scared me. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah, was in the, them, it was an amiibo. Oh my god. It's possessed. Wow. It was a Pikachu amiibo. It fell off my shelf. Perfect. <laughs> I've seen uh, how yeah. several horror movies start this way. You might want to get out of the house. Oh my god, those sharks, no. This, the really huge one is coming. There's a gigantic one in the water, but I'm going to get away before it gets me. I like how it just like casually runs into you. <laughs> yeah, I know. There's literally nothing you can do. You can just eat the damage and that's it. Oh man. Yeah. No yeah, Ross, and them cutting the uh, the message system on 3DS, like, it's still still doing the whole, like, it's it's two, it's 2000 and the internet works in mysterious ways, and if you let your kids go on it, they'll eventually get kidnapped. It's like, Nintendo, you, you, some, some things will happen, and you can make your system more secure, but right now, like, online features on the 3DS and the Wii U are, like, literally, like, totalitarian. <laughs> like, like why... Okay, like family friendly system, I guess, or whatever. But you got games like Shin Megami Tensei games on there, mm-hmm. and Resident Evil. Like, how are you gonna have those games and then be worried about seeing like a child seeing the word penis? I like, I, reg- I regularly fantasize about what would happen if Fox ever got word of like what Shin Megami Tensei is and like what's it. Every time I read the plots, like I just I looked at the uh, the wiki for whatever reason. I was looking at the Wikipedia synopsis for Strange Journey the other day, and I was like, man, this story is crazy. And every time I'm like, man, it's like a major news organization found out what these games are. <laughs> yeah. Wild. I used to, like, when I first got Persona 3, because I was too young to buy, like, I tweeted the other day, I wasn't old enough to buy it um, without my mom, and I used to have to play it at night because I was afraid of her seeing them shoot themselves in the head. I so, always thought that about that game. It seems like there yeah. should have been a controversy about it, but there wasn't. Yeah, I was waiting for somebody to, like, I don't know, do Bur- something. Burn their with... dread? Yeah. And... <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't think I, I guess because in 2006 the only kids that like were playing Persona 3 like shopped at Hot Topic and and had to friends. So oh, Jesus, I, you know me so well. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was like 19, thank you very much, Ron, and I did none wow. of neither of those things. Oh, I did both me. of those things. <laughs> <laughs> I had a collection of Inuyasha shirts that I bought at Hot Topic. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 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 enjoying seeing like Lupin the Third fans like crowd into like P5 threads like they're finally having their day like oh yeah guys this pursuit is neat or sane man Lupin's making making a comeback like okay guys all right like guys in the threads like literally with Lupin the Third avatars being like well now I'm interested okay bro mm-hmm. <laughs> I just picture Andrea outside of a hot topic in a, like a, a Slipknot hoodie calling people basics <laughs> look I never liked Slipknot 
<laughs> oh, okay. All right, fair enough. So you you weren't I like trapped though for a brief. Oh time. no! <laughs> Headstrong will take on anyone. Let, I whatever... like that. that. Fuck off, I'll take you. <laughs> yeah, that was it. Headstrong. Yeah. Not the back off version. Oh, okay. God, that song is so like that song is so like AMV. It hurts. Like every <laughs> single anime, like DBZ, Sailor Moon, uh, Inuyasha, oh, everything that yep. there ever is. Like as soon as I hear like that like opening riff, that like do 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 do. I just I just picture that fucking like bl white text on blue background of Windows Movie Maker. <laughs> Oh god. I did not have an Invader Zim backpack rosin, but I did have like three Invader Zim hoodies. Okay, they here, were all hurt. I just know. I just drained the water, so the sharks are gonna die horribly, but here's the huge one and it's going to eat me shortly. Mm -hmm. Oh. I'm um, I'm interested in this I have a Resident Evil hoodie also. You still do? Yeah. I still wear it too. La last year I got this awesome Final Fantasy VIII shirt when Teespring did a sale. <gasps> that was cool. Is it the Balaam Garden one? Uh, I th yeah, it's like the garden one. It's got it's got like the two crossed gun blades, like squalls and cypress gun blades. Yeah. Across. It's got like the silhouettes of of the team, like walking in a line. It looks awesome. Mm. I have sure. one that that's like a a seed shirt. Balaam Garden Academy. It's really cool. It looks like an emblem for like an actual school. The only I think, you know, if people always say FF Seven should be remade, I think Eight is the one that would really benefit benefit from an HD remake. I agree. I don't think that yeah. any of them really need to be remade at this point. Like, okay, but think about Final Fantasy IX with those, ass, like, okay, because we, did you see that that gaff thread with the yeah, assets? Yeah, with the assets. Yeah, that yeah. no, no, that they, that they should straight like that's not. I don't think I don't even think that's a pipe dream. I think that's straight up is a project that should be in the works the same way that like Ari has happened and Grim, Grim Fandango happened. Like the free rendered back. It's like thing. money, and the, like you don't have yeah. to. I feel like it's already there. Like most of the work is done. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's Final Fantasy. It'll sell. Nine sold like more than five million copies anyway. So it's not even like the game sold sold horribly. It sold better than like that. It sold better than all the thirteen games. So that that right there is like should be reason enough to. There was bring... less. There was less competition back then too, but I think that, I mean, didn't they remake like every game up till five or something on like the DS or something? Uh, they re they remade. remade. Yeah. They yeah, I think. A couple hmm. and then they um. Did they? They remade that. No, they just ported the After Years on PSP, right? I still have not played that yeah, one. Yeah, they ported After Years to PSP. They, they've remade a bunch. They've never sort of gone in a straight line. One thing they did do in chronological order, which was interesting, was they put all the PS1s, the PS1 games, on, up, up on PSN, and then they announced the remake of Ten, and they did that. Mm -hmm. So that that ran in this like really weird chronological order. That wasn't really a remake, though, right? That was just like a, a port. Like they redid some of the models. Well, with like, um, they ported the first one to the PSP, and that was nice because they fixed the translation. Because, like, the translation was like, mm -hmm. I was a Japanese, like, three student at that point. Like, I got all up, like, Japanese 10. But even as, like, a Japanese two or three student, whenever I first played that game in Japanese, they had mixed up, like, genders and stuff in that game. Like, the, the translation was so bad. Oh, but they wow. That in the PSP, yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Like, the remake of 4 is super cool. On PSP, I've no, I I think Sarah for Christmas bought me Final Fantasy IV. I've been meaning to play that because I know oh. a lot of people like that one. Four is good. I like four, but I've yeah, never played after years. Like when so. we do that that uh, that Final Fantasy episode of S Link, um, I was actually thinking about it, and like you were saying, you were an N sixty four kid or, or like a Nintendo kid, and like when I think about it, all I did on my PlayStation One was play Resident Evil. I'm not even kidding. I can't even remember the other games I own for it. Marvel vs. Mm -hmm. Capcom. I think that was it. Um, mm -hmm. Like, I, that's, I did not, I played 7, I played 8, I didn't finish 8, I didn't touch 9, and then I played 10, and then I played 10-2, and then I played 12, didn't finish it, and, okay. and I didn't finish 13, and then I guess I finished 14, but, um, mm -hmm. I did finish it, fuck, that game has credits and everything, um, yeah. but, oh, what do I have to do, hold on, um, but yeah, I, I'm going to be the, 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 I think everyone else has played like every Final Fantasy on that panel. So well, I think it's probably good to have somebody on there that like needs to be introduced to it. You know what I mean? Like yeah. I don't know, somebody mm -hmm. to see it from another perspective. But I mean, I don't even honestly, I I don't remember much about five. So I haven't I played, played five. that one. I haven't played five. I haven't, I haven't played, played that six. one since. Yeah, Ooh, I haven't played I a bunch of them. I haven't, play, I haven't played one, two, three, uh, five. I, I've only played a few, a few of the opening hours of six because I couldn't get through it on my phone because 
Yeah, that's, that's just not gonna work. Uh, six. Uh, what do I? I haven't played any of eleven, even though I know it's an MMO, but I'm just throwing it out there. Mm -hmm. And yeah. Uh, yeah, I think I think that and I haven't played Lightning Returns. I guess if I have to mention all of them in like like chronological release, I haven't played Lightning Returns also. So there you okay, go. Let's not count spin-off games. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I counted I counted ten two, so that's my fault. Oh. Yeah, ten but, two. Yeah. Oh man. That was a fun game. Ten two is fun. Ten 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 two has a, has a great help. map system. One, Kyle. Didn't you play? Si Actually, yeah. no, I didn't, Rosin. Uh, I played it and okay. and I said, "Fuck this! This doesn't have tank controls like Resident Evil," and I stopped playing it. <laughs> and I, I played it many many years later, or after Silent Hill Two came out, and I loved it. And even though I was too young to understand what was going on in that game, um, then I played Silent Hill One. But at the time, I'm like, "This isn't like Resident Evil." Mm -hmm. I didn't beat Silent Hill 1 until my freshman year of college. I was always too scared to play it. I had it when I was little. I also had Persona 2 and Resident Evil, but I thought Persona 2 was a horror game when I was little, and I had it. I don't even know how I got it, but I had it. I think I got it for Christmas from some to, random to, unknowing family. To start, to start, I think Persona 2 has this really cool sort of like, it does have a sense of dread to it, but then once you start talking to yeah. those characters and seeing that dialogue, you're like, oh man, yeah. this is super <laughs> well, I thought it was like a jump scare, like just from the cover, because I never actually like mine was in like the plastic <laughs> wrap up until a few years ago. So, yeah. wow, you know. that's a rare yeah. game at this point. The PS One version of Eternal Punishment. Yeah, Rosin. Someone said your name, but but Kyle was wrong. Yeah, was that it? was supposed to be. I looked at. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's got uh, yeah, it's got it's got a, a a cool sort of creepy. Like what I've seen of the other SMT games, also have a sort of an at, an atmosphere to them. That's that's uh, yeah. that's kind of unnerving, which which is appropriate in that it's all so much of it is is about demon stuff. Seems seems like five might might have some of that too in the uh, in the in the dungeon segments or whatever. And then the, during the day stuff will will be yeah, high school. Oh no, anime. They turn, they, turn, they turn my hardcore dungeon crawler an anime game, man. It's lame. Suddenly they're like from the south. It's always been an anime. It's always been an anime game, guys. It's always been but that, but and yet more than that. But well, you know, <laughs> filthy casuals. Oh, yeah. They can't take their game seriously. That has a big penis demon in it. <laughs> <laughs> a dick yeah. with wheels. Your game has a big penis demon in it. Shut I just, up. I don't know. I just, I don't wait, guys. I don't know. I just, I can't see this kid being a phantom thief and like raiding right this place and like he's like falling through platforms and doing all this stuff. Yes, I know. Everything that this kid is doing as a master thief is incredibly improbable in a game where you summon demons, where kids have like shot themselves in the head and like broken magic cards that aren't really there is and that, had monsters appear. Is this appear a thing? Them. Is this thought, a yes? This, this is an argument that has been levied that the that the phantom thief in persona 5 is a little too unrealistic because he's so nimble and agile how can, how can he do all these things it's so unbelievable yes bro it's entirely unbelievable in persona absolutely it's fiction but the part about the tv though that's believable that's so, that was totally that makes perfect I was sense sold on that <laughs> uh the internet i didn't know that that was a thing i think that's why i don't go on neogaf anymore because i can't that's take nice. that kind of stuff anymore I, I don't blame you. Yeah, the thread thread's been interesting. It's interesting how many people are in like just that that main P5 thread though, actually discussing that game, uh, it's, you know, to in a, in a, in a tolerable context that don't post to the community thread. Y'all, I've had a GAF account for like four or five years and I've never logged in. Do, do they delete don't. accounts? <laughs> they, they, they they don't delete accounts, but just don't 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 get into don't it. Don't do it. Don't don't do it. Yeah. No, it's not worth it. Seriously, it's not. It's not. It's not. Sorry I haven't been reading the notes, everyone. I kind of on autopilot. This is just our, our podcast, okay? Just deal with it. <laughs> hmm? Let's say bondage with blood. I wonder I wonder if Rog approves of P five. Uh Rog was a Chie fan, right? So Rog Rog. No, that, like that was that was Tyrone that liked Chie. No, Tyrone liked Chie. Okay then, okay. So Ty Tyrone pro probably liked it because he he probably sees Anne and she looks like she's tough, so he's probably into her. So Ty Tyrone probably gives it a thumbs up. What what did Rog like about it? What was, what, what was he for? There was demons in it. Okay, yeah. So Rog, Rog will be thrilled that you actually fight personas again. They're not. They're not. They're technically. They're still not demons. They're personas, but you fight them. So. How do the Dangon Rompa fans feel about Persona Five? Is there Dangon Rompa gaff? Can I go take that over? Is no, that a thing? No, don't go there. Yeah, you, you can go talk. I mean, you you, you could go there, but I. I saw I saw one of them and the other day. Um, you saw one. And yeah, I saw one. <laughs> like I was like <laughs> like I was out walking on a walk and they ran across like a little like animal, but. Um, <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> don't don't do it. Oh, this is Plant Forty Two, by the way, everyone. This is another boss that is just a giant version of Thing. 
Have you guys seen that movie that Del Toro remade, uh, Don't Be Afraid of the Dark or whatever? I know what it is, but I never saw it. Okay, those little, like, tiny demon things in it, whenever you were talking about one of the Danganronpa